now look to Evgeny Chuchuakin to continue the case for the proposition. Uh, good evening. I'm, I'm very sorry for my English. Uh, probably you will remember me as the worst, worst uh, English speaker. I'm, I'm so sorry for that. I'm first time in this role and thank you. Thank you so much to invite me. Um, <coughs> uh, it's, uh, for me, it's a big pleasure to, to hear how, uh, for, me, uh, for me as a Russian, foreign people discuss the problem of my country, and it's very interesting. Um, what the, let's, let's back to situation when the uh, Soviet Union collapsed. The <coughs> every Russian dreamed to go abroad. Every Russian dreamed to have some American or Western clothes, uh, Japanese, um, Jap Japanese music system, and uh, to have German car, uh, and, and we, we dreamed Western. And we understood that uh, Yeltsin, the opposition, uh, opposition leader by Yeltsin, will, will bring us to the world. We understood, we young people, I was 16 years old, I understood that we are live in kind of prison, very big prison, it's um, uh, nine time zones, but we don't have a rights. And my mother, my mother who traveled abroad, my, I, I was very lucky. As, as Trump said, uh, 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 how to be rich, you have to, uh, you have to be, um, to choose right parents. <laughs> <laughs> and and my, 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 father tra my father traveled a lot because he was a civil pilot for 40 years, and he was uh, in Antarctic expedition, and my mother was in a couple of European countries. And when he came, uh, she came with the, with the bags of full foreign clothes, bright, good, soft, wow. And the whole school class was so jealous. We, we think that it's gods, gods live abroad. It's a 14 types of sausage in one shop. Wow! <laughs> How is possible? You, you, you have to fight for one type, two killers in one hand. When I was 17, my grandmother was nearly killed in a four hours queue for, um, we, we, call, we called it uh, Bush legs, because uh, George Bush, uh, signed the contract to give us uh, one, one leg is right and it was sold in the United States and one leg when all steroids was injured. It was uh, for free uh, sent to Soviet Union. It was big leg like that. <laughs> but chicken leg, chicken leg. <laughs> and it was big queue because nobody put it for us for free. It was for, for money. And my mother, my grandmother was nearly killed. And I remember, I hate Soviet Union. I hate it. I have a Yeltsin photo in school and director who was communist tried to take, take it out. But anyway, we really want to be part of the world. And most of the people for the moment understood that they, they, what they see, they see propaganda. It's different channels on TV, but all belongs to government. In different way, different people talk more or less the same thing. And a lot of people are in kind of fog. And, and uh, they, they think that the West is not, that's not, but they still, on German car, they still in, uh, in American jeans and they still listen to Japanese uh, play, play system, watch Japanese or South Korean TV. And uh, official statistic like Levada Center is uh, 89, 89, 11 for to be, for 
unite for support Putin to unite around uh, Putin in this difficult situation. But what's happened in uh, two years' time after first sanctions came? came after first sanction, the, when the ruble first time growing down. That was the real first uh, of last 17 years. It was the real uh, first uh, free um, Elections. elections in Russia. It was elections, proper elections. People take the rubles and run to bank to change to dollars. People vote for George Washington in their pockets. That's, that's the reality. In three days, all, all euros and dollars was finished in, in, in uh, Moscow, was completely finished. No, no, no foreign cash for three days. That's, that's the, how Russian really votes, without, without propaganda. They understood what they really, what they really want. But Everybody, everybody knows that the government is so strong and, uh, for example, today is uh, the day of establishment of Soviet army and, and my Facebook divided in two parts, people who hate it and people who support it. And uh, I have a lot of, come in Russia, we'll kill you, we'll uh, uh, chop you in, 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 in ash and something like that. Um, <laughs> And uh, a lot of, uh, uh, if, the first, if the first elections will happen for the moment, uh, I think about 30 to 40% uh, will, will have Navalny, and Putin probably will not have 50% uh, from the first, from the first uh, part, because people are so tired. People are so tired to live in fear, people are, control their kids because police doesn't work. Police working because it's small, small salaries and the big uh, power and police only, if you're going to, uh, going to work to police, you are join the contract with the, one of the biggest gang in the world. And the, the gangster number one is Putin. It's uh, like a state inside, inside state. It is we and it's there. Uh, thank you. And uh, about a uh, very important thing about how s sanctions work in historically. Uh, we know about continental blockade uh, when Napoleon, uh, French Empire and Russian Empire decide not to buy, uh, not to buy uh, goods from, Uni uh, from United Kingdom and other European countries uh, decide to blockade it. And what's happened in 1811 in Napoleon Empire, they have minority figures and um, um, uh, for, um, finance minister of Napoleon said it's very bad for us that's blockade, but they decide and blockade was destroyed by Russian next, next year because uh, because of the war and Tsar, Tsar decided to better to work with the, with the United Kingdom. Uh, blockade and, and sanctions against Cuba. 60 years. And, it's, and, and what we have now, I, I just w w went to Cuba a couple of uh, weeks ago. It's Spanish hotels, Spanish wines. They open a bit, but not for the uh, United States, you can see in a good day, they open for some U European countries. And, and the uh, integration with, the, with the all over the world will be uh, more with the European, not with the United States. Uh, Olympic Games, 1918. Who won Olympic Games, 1918? Because it was sanctions and from United States and some foreign countries decide not to leave the sportsmen to go, and Russia won. That's the easier. And any sanctions work against the, the companies, uh, it's, it's in the business is the same. Uh, uh, most of the sanctions work against the countries and the companies who create the sanctions. Uh, and from the, with the debt sanctions against country, 
um, there is no sanctions against Putin who create all this, all this nightmare. And for his friends, his friends travel around the world. They have, uh, they have bills and they have uh, money in Switzerland. They, they, they can buy something in States. They, they are so this, this eight or seven people around the Putin, they're free to do everything still. But the country uh, under the sanctions. Uh, and uh, why Putin? Putin didn't, didn't be, he wasn't like that the whole time. Um, uh, the first economy forum uh, in London, Russian economy forum, in 2001, uh, when the Putin was president, he said, we are very welcome to have relationship with the United Kingdom. We are so happy and so glad to see all the guests. And he, he, he created the video for that. He really wants to be as an equal partner, as a Russia will be equal partner to all over the world. But all over the world doesn't think that the Russia is equal partner. The pe people with the uh, children with, uh, with uh, this level of purity, with this level, I'm sorry, English, they can be equal partner. Western people decide. We can, we can buy gold, we can buy oil, we can buy that, that, that. But that's third country. And 2007, Putin decided to move Russian economy forum back to Russia. Unfortunately, he is he is very bad guy. He's he's one of the strongest gangster in the world. But I think the uh, how West treatment Russia is not fair. Sorry for my English. Thank you so much. Thank you.